Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday, everyone, on the 16th of July. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you too, Fernando. Good to see you, Grant, Gene, Lou, John, Rick. Good to see everybody. Donna, looking great. It is going to be a scorcher here in New York. Extremely hot. Hopefully, it's nice and uh, summer is in full strength. Oh, my God. Look at this. Unbelievable. Good to see you all. By the way, I just have to let everybody know it was such a hot weekend here in New York that at the end of this presentation, I'm going to share something very personal with all of you. So uh, it's going to be really funny, but uh, everyone's going to have to stick around and listen. I mean, obviously, not going anywhere. You're going to be here in the meeting, but I got a little surprise to show you. I want to share it, everyone. Uh, but in the meantime, everybody, uh, regarding about uh, before we get started and talk about what happened on Friday and what to trade this morning, uh, we have a lot of new members that are starting this morning, which is great. First of all, just remember a couple of things. Phase one does start tomorrow. So um, a couple of things uh, we're going to be changing around. So everyone just get ready. The new cycle of the courses do start for July. So hopefully everyone's getting excited for that. Remember, most of your time is spent in class. We only work about two hours in trading in the side group room, but most of the time is spent in your journals, classes, coaching, all that. And a uh, new cycle starts tomorrow. So hopefully everyone's going to be excited about that. And then we have a lot of new members, like I said, that do start today. So um, most important thing when you start, you watch the video, tell you a little bit about what we do here, what this is all about, and most important, look, listen, and learn. Remember, this is a trading room, not a teaching room. So just watch and see people make money. Don't judge us on the winners. Judge us on the losers to see how few we have because that's what it's all about. All right. Now, regarding about what happened on Friday, a couple of good stocks made some big moves. Uh, let's start off with the PIXY. Uh, for some of you that were not here and missed it, that one did a really nice move. Went from 340 to 520. Very nice little cheap little stock. Not a lot of people killed it, but had a nice little day's pay. Definitely could have pulled out 20 cents, 50 cents, all over that one. BIOC, that one was probably the best one of Friday. Uh, just came out of nowhere. I mean, we had it in the pre-market. I got a little nervous on it because they really didn't make a good pop on it. And then you could see it right here how I made a big move. And then all of a sudden when the market opened up, uh, went from six all the way to eight. And then went from eight, boom, all the way to 11. Less than, what, 30 minutes. And I think everyone took the rest of the day off, enjoyed the nice weekend, made it do good day's pay. Um, Want to share what happened to me because of this one little stock. And I'm going to come back to it and show you at the end of the presentation. Uh, but a uh, nice little stock right there. Paid very nice. Everyone did great. Also, I was another nice little mover. Stock's been having a nice little push. Good little swing trade, actually. And remember, you know, there's a lot of people that want a swing trade. They want an options trade. But I always tell everyone, you got to learn how to day trade first because how do you know what to swing if you don't even know what's happening over the course of the day? And this one actually worked out pretty well. You could see it um, in April was $4 already stocks up about what? Almost up 500%, you know? Nice little push, doing great. Cisco, which you know, we're not always a, a branding type of a trader, but what a great short that was, huh? Boom, right down to like 44, down to 41. Moved very, very quickly. Obviously the news that came out was not very nice. Don't doesn't really matter to me. I don't know how to interpret the news. We don't want to interpret the news. We just want to make money. And it was a great short. And then also our BJ is doing phenomenal. Oops, spelt it wrong. Uh, BJ is doing great, guys. Um, we're killing on the swing trade right there. So um, you know that that we're doing pretty well. Twenty five to twenty seven sixty. Man, we're killing it on that one. So uh, just like we trade with IQ, I'm getting a little nervous. It's going up a little too fast. You know, and I, I don't like when stocks go up that fast. Uh, I would like it to be in a $40 range by, you know, October. You know, I don't want to be at 40 by the end of this week. And the rate it's going, looks like it's getting there pretty quickly. We just bought it at 22 at the IPO price. Remember, we opened up at 21 and we're already up about, you know, five bucks on that swing. So we're doing pretty good on that one too. All right. So that's what we got going on uh, on Friday. Uh, now let's talk about what's going on this morning. Now remember, today is Monday, typical Mondays. You know that, you know, long weekend, hot weekend. People want to enjoy the weekend. People even spend, go into today, into their weekend. So you're not going to get a lot of news other than, 
you know, um, weekend buyouts or whatever. So remember, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are the best days of the uh, week to trade. But we have a couple of them. And that's right, Benito got that stock that I just we talked about in the pre-market, the CNES trade. That one is moving up pretty nicely, starting to build a little bit of a Fausto flag right there. You can see it right there. Uh, it is testing resistance levels from yesterday, so we got to work off that. But yes, that one did make the watch list, so we're going to put that one up there. Uh, another couple of them that came up. Here's one up 100% right now, 700,000 shares traded. Stock, uh, you know, it had a good run, and it's kind of like of fiddling, you know, uh, right or feathering right around here, around $8, it went as high as almost 10. Uh, Want to keep an eye on, up a lot, which kind of gets me a little nervous. I don't like things up too much, but that one's holding pretty strong right there. Another one that was up huge this morning, 800,000 shares, Gene, G-E-N-E, -E, that one just popped and just backed right off again. Once again, starting to build a little bit of a base right here at a buck fifty, uh, which is this resistance levels back in April. So that one's pretty good. Let's see if she holds right here. MDGS is another one that's got a nice little push right here, up ten percent, forty-seven thousand shares traded. Spread, eh, you know, it always gets me nervous. But you all remember this one. The only reason why I like this one because we traded it not too long ago, a couple of days ago. It ran from five to ten. So um, always like to always like to you know go back to your journals and let's go back to that one the SE the SNES we got that one A R N C is another one that's moving in pre market uh, some of us uh, already looked at it pretty early did pretty well with it the stock is starting to build a little bit of a higher high a little Fausto flag growing on right now stock took a big hit from thirty down to seventeen uh, it, testing some resistance levels it fills in the gap this thing could shoot right to twenty one. So I like this one a lot. I know some of us already got into it a little bit earlier. Not, you know, not a great price, but 8 a.m., early bird gets the money, right? BJ's is going back on our watch list too, so we all know about that one's doing pretty well. And the we had the Ferrari. Uh, that one did pretty well also for us um, on our swing trade. Amazon, AMZN, is just an animal. But for some of us, can't afford it, but I know some people do. Amazon's looking great. Looks like it's going to be coming to 2000 pretty soon. And WTI and ETF, that one's moving up pretty nicely too. Out of the out of nowhere, up five, almost 6%, 500,000 shares. You know, if you're not a level two trader or up, stay away from them. The stock will cross you. All right, guys. So anything I'm missing, I did not call out. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stocks. Just please keep in mind for all you new traders here, only about two of them will make a move. The rest are going to be garbage. And then when the market opens up, uh, we always find a whole new list. Uh, but uh, this is what we've been trading in the pre-market so far. And that one's looking pretty well. Grant says the CNES moving towards two. Yeah, I mean, listen, cheap stock, nice stock. Everything's great. You know, beautiful. There we go. I told you, Fausto flag worked out pretty well. Uh, let me change the time frame here. Right there, you have a nice little Fausto flag and boom. So uh, everybody should be up about 10 cents right now in that trade. You should actually, a lot of it should have it at buck 75. So, uh, and if you didn't get it, don't worry. That's okay. Tomorrow's another day in pre-market. All right, guys. So anything else I'm missing? No. Nope. All right. So the grand, new, uh, the big news is, so what did Fausto do this weekend? Well, this weekend, I'm going to share a photo with you. Um, I have, everybody see that? So I was at Serendipity. Everyone heard of Serendipity in Manhattan? It's a very famous ice cream place. Everybody heard of Serendipity? Yeah, okay, great. So I was at Serendipity and I kind of treated myself. When you do good in stock market, you know, in trades, why you will not spoil yourself? I went to Serendipity. I bought myself a $100 milkshake uh, with donkey's milk, um, 13, uh, 23 karat gold, uh, ice cream, um, gold on it. There's a couple of these. Here's a close-up shot of one, a little bit closer. There we go. Uh, that's actually the ice cream right there. So, uh, by the way, this is what you do when you make money in trading. You know what? You can blow $100 on a milkshake. What's, what's what's wrong with that? I didn't want, I didn't spiel to the to the thousand dollar ice cream. So um, they do to sell a thousand dollar ice cream. You know, I, I, I you know. It was a bad trade. I didn't want to spend a thousand, but I said, "Yeah, hundred bucks. What do you got?" I did pretty good on Friday on trading, so I go out there and I went out to do it. Uh, Grant says we love the ice cream. Wow, nice Fausto. Thanks a lot. You deserve it, Fernando. Hey, listen, we, we all deserve it. These are things that you spoil yourself. 
Laugh, uh, did you pick out the gold? No, Michael, actually, they come out and do a whole presentation. The designer um, comes out and he explains everything that's in there. I couldn't even understand you know, 99% of what he was talking about, where the chocolate came from, from uh, Madagascar and all this. It was pretty cool. Uh, but you definitely got to go to Silhouette. Uh, if you haven't been to Serendipity, look it up. They may wrote a lot of good movies. All the presidents been there, all the famous actors. Uh, um, actually, when I was there, uh, which we call John Travolta just left. So, missed him. Yep, yep. And they also give you a metal straw. And if you get the $1,000 ice cream, they give you a solid gold straw you get to drink out of it's pretty cool <laughs> all right anyway so uh so that was my little uh, little gift for this weekend um you know to go spoil after making some money and you know guys is what we always talk about you do well in trading go out there let us know how you guys did share it we always share photos uh because that's what you work for it's not about just uh surviving paying bills it's about enjoying life and that's what it's all about anyway and yeah congratulations to france for winning the world cup I know that was uh, that was another great excitement, but uh, we'll uh, we'll go out there and spurl and make make money and hopefully go see the next World Cup, right? All right, guys, good luck. Good luck today. Happy trading, everybody.